Annyeonghaseyo Yorugun, Pangkapsumida Jirado Yungida And welcome to Go Senpai Japanese and Korean where we learn Japanese and Korean as one In this lesson, you are going to learn all about particles Kurom Kaja Okay, so for topic marking particles, we have un and nun, while in subject marking particles, we have e and ka. Okay, okay so the main rule of topic marking particles is letting the other people know what you are talking about or going to talk about. Okay, so in topic marking particles, we have un and nun. So we use un when words ending with the last consonant and nun when words ending with a vowel. Topic marking particles are attached after the noun. Okay, after the noun. So here we have two ways to use the un and nun topic marking particles. So first, noun, un or nun plus another noun in nida. Okay, second, noun, un, nun plus adjectives or the descriptive verbs okay so let's have some example for easy understanding so okay so example for noun un or nun noun imida so chonun might imida so ch okay so our noun one here is cho since it ends with the vowels we use the nun and then our second noun is mike imida okay chonun might imida okay so another example okay second example Igunen sagwa imida. Okay. Igunen sagwa imida. Okay. Okay, so example for this structure we have kuyangunen kiyopta. The cat is cute. Okay, so let's have another example. So here in our second example, we have Kabangun Nomo Bisada. Okay. So the bag is so expensive. Okay. Okay, so here in our example, kuyang inen kiyokta. Okay, so maybe there are other cats that are not cute. Okay, so in short, you are giving an emphasis to that cat which is cute. Okay, in our second example, we have kabangun nomo bisada. So maybe there are other bugs which are cheap. Okay. Okay, so let's proceed now to the subject marking particles.
Okay, so here in subject marking particles, we have E in ka. So we use E when words ending with a consonant. And ka when words ending with a vowel. Okay, so the construction is still similar to that of topic marking particles. So noun are attached after E and ka. Okay. We have here, 저는 친구가 있어요. 저는 친구가 없어요. So, so the pattern that we use here is noun, e or ka, plus itta or opta. Okay. Okay. So you can use this pattern. When you want to talk about what people have or don't have, and also about the things that exist or doesn't exist, okay? Okay, next structure we have noun, e, or ka, plus descriptive verb or adjective in English. So we have here an example. Kuyangi ga kiyowoyo. Okay, so the cat is cute. Okay, so our noun here is kuyangi. It ends with a vowel, so we use the ka. And our descriptive verb or adjective in English is kiyowoyo. So, base form is kiyokta. Okay. Okay, so another example. Yong waga chimi soyo. Okay, so the movie... is interesting so our noun here it's yongwa or movie it ends with the vowel so we use the ka and then our descriptive verb is chimi is soyo okay so basic form is chimi itta okay unlike topic marking particles Subject marking particles is just marking the subject without emphasizing it too much. So here, from our example, Chonon chinguga isoyo. That's it. Okay. Kuyangi ga kuyangi ga kiyowoyo. Where you? Yongwa ga chimi isoyo. The end. You're not emphasizing nor contrasting. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to object marking particles. Okay, so we have here sagwaril mogoyo. Okay, so I eat an apple. Okay, so you know already that sagwa is going to be the object of our verb. Okay, because of the lil attached after the noun. Okay. So, our action verb here is mogoyo, base form is mokta, or to eat. Okay, so let's have another example. Yong waru buayo. Okay, so I watch a movie. So, now... And then it ends in a vowel, so we use the lil. And then our action verb is buayo, or base form is buda, which means to see or watch and look, okay? Okay, so we have another example. So, chegel sayo. Okay, so I buy a book. Okay, so our noun here is check book so it ends with consonant it ends with a consonant so we use the l and then our action verb here is sayo base form is sada to buy okay so the object of our verb here is the book okay so that's all for the object marking particles okay so let's proceed now to the location marking particles First, we have E and SO. 
Okay, so in English, it means at or to. It is not only used to mark a location, but this particle is also can be used to mark a time and situation. This expresses also a location where something is or exists. So while ESO expresses a location where some action is taking place. In English, it means from a place. Okay, so E and ESO are attached after noun. Okay, so noun plus E, noun plus ESO. Okay, let's have some example. Okay, so we have here Hakgyo e kasoyo. So I went to school. So Hakgyo is our noun here and our location particle E. And then we have our verb here kasoyo. The base form is kada, to go. So example 2, we have Hanguge wasoyo. I came in Korea. Our noun here is Hanguk, meaning Korea. And then our verb here, wasoyo, base form uda, meaning to come. Okay, example number three. Ode soyo, where are you? Ode is where, and our verb here is soyo, base form itta, meaning to exist. Okay, so we have chebeso el heyo. I work at home. Chib meaning home, a location where an action is taking place. So, el heyo, base form el hada, to work. So, okay, so another example. Okay, so, next example, we have Tosuguaneso Kumbuheyo. I studied in the library. We have location where the action is taking place to Suguan or library and our verb gongbo has soyo so base form gongbohada to study. So first example we have chibe soyo. I am at home. Here in our example it expresses a location where someone is exists. While example number two chibe so el heyo. I work at home, it expresses where the action is taking place. Okay, so before we end, let's have a quick recap. We have topic particles un and nun, so we use this for emphasis and contrast. Subject particles e and ka, so here it means what it means. And then object particles er or real. It marks the object of the verb. Okay, so we have E and ESO particles. So we use E to mark a location, time, situation, and also existence. And ESO expresses a location where an action is taking place. Okay, so this ends our discussion for today. If you want to study with me next time, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Kurong! Tao mi boa, mata ne.